The Imperial Japanese Navy has dispatched the Yumota to the Philippines. It's currently threatening our operations going on there. So we've decided to send several F4U Corsairs armed with 1,000 pound armor piercing munitions as well as an Iowa class battleship and two destroyers. Their mission is to intercept the Yamota and deal heavy damage to it. If they fail to achieve this objective, the Battle of the Philippines will be lost. The F4U Corsairs have an extremely dangerous mission. They are going to fly at 150 feet and drop two 1,000 pound munitions in order to skip them across the water like rocks. The munitions will then impact the Yamota causing severe damage and flooding and hopefully disabling or completely destroying the ship. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are attempting to sink the Yamoto. To do that we have two destroyers as well as one Iowa class battleship, 12 F4U Corsairs, each one armed with two 1,000 pound armor piercing munitions. Currently our Iowa class, the North Carolina, is currently engaging what looks to be the Yamoto at a distance of around 500 yards and they are returning fire to us. It also looks like the Yamoto is, has an escort ship with it as well, looks to be a destroyer. Yep, it is a destroyer and they are currently gunning down our ships as well. So while we engage the Yamoto with our 16 inch cannons, we are going to hit the F10 key to bring up all of our menus or the tab key. Just like that, everything's up now. And we're going to look for our F4U Corsairs. And what we're going to do with those F4U Corsairs is we're going to attempt to do some skip bombing runs with them. So we're going to get them into position and then we're going to bring them down to around 100, 140, 150 feet. And we're going to, if we zoom in, you can see that there's two bombs two little bombs under them, skip bomb these 100,000 these 1, pound munitions into the side of the Yamoto. So what we do is we pierce its armor kind of at the level of the sea and cause extensive amounts of damage and flooding. So we're gonna zoom out on the map. We're going to hit in and we're going to bring it bring this unit around on its flank. Oops, hit the wrong button. And we're gonna get those planes into position. Same thing with this one right here. And then we're gonna get this last plane right here, this last couple of these last four. Thank you, the tab key. We're gonna hit and we're gonna bring this unit around as well. So it looks like this unit, the Yamoto is breaking left. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit tab. We're gonna break formation like that. We're gonna hit tab one more time. And we're kind of just gonna keep on the same course that we're currently going. We may do some corrections, but it looks like that the ship, the ship is heading directly towards us. So that's what we're going to do. So let's hit N or let's hit tab. Let's hit, let's rotate around. We are way too high. This pass is absolutely terrible. We're gonna bank out of here. And we're gonna slowly start to descend to 150 feet, but we gotta get out of range because we're in a bad position. I didn't realize we were that close. So as we come back around, we'll re we'll reattack. I don't like going through that destroyer first, which is super unfortunate. But what we're going to do is we're gonna continue to spiral. We're gonna get to 140 feet. All right. Then we're gonna straighten back out. Then when it, once we get into position, unfortunately we have to come over this this destroyer, which is extremely unfortunate, but we're going to just attempt to dodge all of this anti-aircraft fire. Then around 100 yards out, we're gonna hit the two key and we're gonna skip bomb these and we're immediately going to bank. That was a direct hit. Didn't skip bomb a little too high, but we definitely hit it and we dropped those way, way, way too late. We're gonna come back, back around for another attack. Continue to straighten out, see what we can do. Once in position, we're going to try and drop it 100 yards out. We have, actually, we, our other plane does have a few, a few rounds on it. Let's bring it back around, see if we can drop those as well. All 
All right, what's in position? All right, 100 yards. Going straight in. Oh! Oh my goodness. Way too low. We just crashed right into the deck. All right. Let's hit tab, grab our other air our other airframes. Hit tab, bring it back around, identify the Yamoto. And this is like something that was done his historically as they attempted to during the battle I, I believe of the Philippines or Gamar, the US forces sent a large formation of aircraft out. And I'm using Corsairs because Corsairs are, you know, the baddest. So we're going to continue to bank. And what we're going to do is we're going to line ahead. We're going to switch into an echelon left. Straighten out a little bit. Identify the Yamoto. And we're going to drop these at around 100 yards again. I think we've been dropping them way, way, way too late. Continuing to come around. It looks to be engaging our battleship. Anti-aircraft fire is up. Let's see if we can get a good skip this time. Two. There we go, two skips. All right, let's bring it back around for a second attack. Definitely gonna sink this bad boy. They are on fire. Bring her back around. I think we're way, way, way too high. Kind of losing her in the smoke. Unfortunate right there. Currently distracted. We're just gonna kind of wiggle around. Get everyone to form up. Once in position, we're going to drop these rounds. See if we can finish sinking this ship. Our Iowa class cruiser is doing a fantastic job. Oh, wow. Those rounds just flew right across the front of our airframe. All right. And then we're going to drop these now. See if we get a good skip. Two skips. Outstanding. Still up. Let's... Let's hit the tab key. Let's check with our North Carolina, who's still currently engaging. Let's hit B with the 16-inch cannons. We're attempting. We're gonna adjust course and we're gonna try and get on, get over with the Yamoto. Let's see if we can chase it down a little bit as it's running away. All right. Let's take our last set of F4U Corsairs down to around 140 feet. At 140 feet, we will launch our last little air assault and hopefully sink the Yamoto. All right. All right, coming in. There it is. Straighten up. Coming in, this last one last hit should absolutely destroy the ship. Still some flak fire in the distance. Straightening out, it looks to be mostly disabled. Oh, it's moving quite fast now. It's definitely trying to take out our last set of F4U Corsairs. All right, at around 100 yards, right about here. I think these are, oh, they are way, way, way too short. Nope. Ooh. That's one powerful ship. Oh no, they dropped two as well. Let's go 